everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thank you for tuning into my channel today and welcome to episode 2 of the Career Mode Stars FC Cadiz Challenge. Now if you remember, Career Mode Stars over on Twitter set me some objectives to achieve in season number 1. And in the first episode we managed to achieve 6 out of the 8. The final 2 cannot really be achieved until we approach the end of the season. So we're going to load up the Cadiz save. And the first thing I'm going to do is just have a quick run through some of the players who have impressed me in the first part of this career mode. Now obviously Cucurella I bought in at left back who is a quality young player. Sankade who is my skipper and an absolute rock at the back at 70 rated. Villanueva his centre back partner is on loan so he will be leaving me at the end of this season. Correa is a stop gap because my scout a future star will be taking over at right back when he is highly rated enough. Two central defensive midfielders, one of them is only playing because Busquets has picked up an injury. Cruz at central attacking midfield weighs in with a couple of goals. Moha, who is a striker but is a makeshift winger because he's got plenty of pace. And Alfonso Davis, who you've probably seen from my other videos, is an absolute beast and a wing wizard. Two top substitutes is Roberto De La Rosa and Diego Lainez. They get plenty of game time and as soon as they are highly rated enough they will be getting a starting space. A few of the subs who get a bit of game time, and there you can see Bus gets injury. He's only out for a couple of weeks, so as soon as he's fit, he will be returning to the first 11. So I'm going to jump into a cup match against Sevilla away from home in the first leg. And what a victory it was! A 4 1 away victory. He only scored with the first shot of the match, just clipping the post very early on. But we weren't to be denied for too long. Great cross from Alfonso Davis and tapped in by Cruz, the central attacking midfielder, to make it 1 0 early on. And Cruz soon doubled his tally to two with a cutback this time from Moha. And another great finish into the left hand corner of the net. So things going very well for the underdogs here against Sevilla. This was a great cross from Alfonso Davison, blasted in at point blank range from Moha. Keeper did get a hand to it, but you can't stop those. Point blank range, nearly took his head off. And the final goal, Diego Lainez just come on as a substitute, put through from Moha and a tidy finish with his left peg to finish the route off. So the second leg is the next thing I'll show you. And it was a much more realistic scoreline, a one all draw at home. And what a goal this was, lovely pass and move, chip inside the fullback, and a lovely little lifted death finish from Mohart, the makeshift winger. He's got plenty of pace and he weighs in with a fair few goals from that right wing position. Lovely, delicate little flick over the on-rushing goalkeeper. Severe equalised, but right at the death in the 88th minute, Moha nearly wrapped it up, but a great save from the severe goalkeeper kept the scores at one all. So on to the next round in the cup. Now we are in January here, so obviously in January one of the first things you need to do is to negotiate new contracts for any players who only have six months left. So as you can see, the goalkeeper and Villanueva both are on loan, so they will be leaving us at the end of this season. Sankari, the skipper, obviously he will get a new deal. Kijovic, he will get a new deal, even though he's approaching 30 years of age, so he'll probably not be around for much longer. If I get an offer for him, I probably would sell him. Abdullah, who has done well deputising for Busquets, he will get a new deal also. Cruz, who's done well as central attacking midfielder, offer him another deal. And finally, David Badal, who is my star striker. Because again, he's not very too young, so he will probably not last much longer in this career mode. And also with it being January, and as you've noticed, Villanueva is on loan, so will be returning to his parent club at the end of this season. It's January, let's try and sign a pre-contract left back, or a centre back. So I did notice there was one available, Pedro Henrique from Vite Guimaraes in Portugal. So as you can see, approach to sign rather than approach to buy. There you go. So we'll get him signed on a pre-contract deal. All accepted. Offered him eight grand a week. 
and he'll be joining us next season. It will be my star centre back. So Cremo Star said I could only bring in the same amount of players that I released. So according to my not too good maths, I, re I sold six players and bought in five. So that objective was achieved. I bought in some quality players there: Cucurella, Busquets, Davis, De La Rosa, Lainez. Quality signings. So I'm just going to show you the presets that I've got in my growth test as you may know I use all five slots for the same player but when I'm playing a career mode I want to develop as many players as possible so I share the training out pretty equally amongst the high potential players. So we'll try and get De La Rosa and Lainez up a little bit because I say as soon as they get high enough rated they will be into the starting 11. So there's De La Rosa up another plus one. So we're still going very well with the objectives, pretty much looking like we're going to achieve promotion and we're doing well with the board expectations. So we're going to end episode 2 there and as always thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. FCG out.